Hey guys, Johnny Porter here. Um, so I have here a MacBook Air 2013, and it is connected to my. Uh, it's a GPU, but it's stored inside this desktop, and I keep it here to keep it all clean, and so there's not like cords everywhere. And so I'm gonna go through how to set up your external GPU for your MacBook Air, MacBook Pro whatever it is on Windows 10. I have Windows 10 hooked up here through a SSD. I have a sticker on it, but it's Samsung's T1 SSD 256 gig. And it is just running off USB 3. And it's all done here. And here we go. So first what we're going to do is we're going to um, start up the Mac and um, also the GPU. Don't want to forget that. So you want to make sure that it's plugged in, everything's all set. Okay, here are the power supply. Oh, here are the GPU fans. Okay, so everything's plugged in right. It's dual booted. I have it running on this, Windows. And it's all hooked up to this Thunderbolt. So it's running in here. It looks like it's working. Um, so I have Thunderbolt here and it acts as PCIe in Windows and so it'll run from the enclosure which is connected to the GPU so that I can hook up this to the GPU that's what the enclosure is for and it'll hook up into the Mac and um, basically just send out um, the graphics, I, I don't know what it is, data so, here we have Windows, it's all running fine, it's actually running um, the graphics off of that, well, right now it's running off of here, it's running off of the integrated graphics, but um, whenever I go and do something highly intensive, like playing a video game, or watching, I think maybe watching video, um, I haven't been able to run 4K, which is weird, because um, that GPU is like... I think it's decent. And the way that that works is there's this software called Optimus, and Optimus is um, it's so that whatever is sent, being sent into the GPU it back feeds into this internal display, and so Nvidia made that and it's they just now came out with a new driver for Windows 10. Um, previously it only worked for Windows 8, Windows 7. I was going to switch to that but then the day that I was going to switch to Windows 7 or Windows 8 they actually just came out with the driver um, a few days before for Windows Optimus. And so I was like perfect and so I got that. So reset everything up and I'll show you guys um, some gameplay, and then after that, we'll dig into computer. Well, not the computer, the GPU set. I'm just going to go through some gameplay. It's like the game's skipping a little bit. Don't know why. Um, usually, it takes a little while for the GPU to kick in. Survival, just plain old Tatooine. I want to give you guys a better angle on that. Okay, we're just going to jump right into gameplay here. Don't care what blasters I have, don't care. So everything's on max graphics. 50 right now, 30. Let's get that. It's running 25 to 35. Don't feel much lag. Okay. Find some guys to kill. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's a different gun than I use. Everything feels weird. You guys are too easy, so I don't really care if you get hit. <laughs> So it's running good. It's almost 40 frames, actually. So you guys are probably wondering, like, okay, so what is this guy doing? Like, how is he doing this? So I'm just going to show you guys how I do my setup. Close up this, move it out of the way, and get out the good stuff. Turn it off. to the good parts I took off my so here is my desktop and my GPUs inside um, and I have the um, I have the side panel right there so we're just gonna set this on its side so I can show you guys what's in it so here I have my eGPU set up it's inside my uh, desktop uh, case and before I built a PC but um, it had AMD um, I, I had an AMD chip and so my Windows 10 um, Windows to go Windows 10 it um it didn't it has Intel um, architecture I mean this is my theory of it I don't really know but I'm pretty sure that it's because um, it has Intel architecture because I did it for my MacBook and um, so when I plugged into the AMD computer it didn't work and it didn't boot I mean I got it to boot once but after that it was just like super sketchy and it just didn't work out and so I was like that's it I'm returning all these parts thank you Amazon I love Amazon and um, and I just got a GPU an external GPU enclosure well, it wasn't, it's not dedicated to eGPU, but I got an enclosure and it's very, it's pretty popular because it's the cheapest one. So I'm just going to take these parts out. I'm going to show you what this is. So this is how everything works. Um, I got my enclosure here. This is the Akitio, I don't, Akishio? I don't know. Um, this is their little box enclosure. You can get it on Amazon for over 200 bucks, I think, still. I don't know. I'll have to check up on that. Um, but when I got it, it was like $220. And it's ridiculous just for um, Thunderbolt to PCIe. I don't, I don't know why it costs so much, but here it is. It usually, it has a um, case that goes all the way around it and it looks different from this usually but um so here it is the GPU up here the G the GeForce GTX 950 it doesn't fit right so what you have to do is you have to get a PCIe riser and it doesn't matter what size it is it can be any size I got the 1x or whatever and um, so you just hook it in and then you got your PCIe slot. You just pop it in there. And there you go. You got your eGPU set up right there. And then, well, mostly there. The last thing you'll need is a power supply. So I have my power supply inside this desktop. Um, that I just showed you guys. Um, so I got my power there. And so the way that I put this inside my computer is I basically stick this upside down. And then this will be hooked up to power supply. And then I got this hooked up to 
well, I'll flip this around. And I'll, this is metal on top of metal, which probably isn't that smart, but I mean, I don't know. It's got this back plate, so it's not totally awful. And so we got this, and we got this. Here, let me get out of the way. You just hook that up. And then we take one of these next to the SATA. SATA, SATA. And we plug it in the right way. Yes, plug it in the right way. I think I'm doing it the right way. So, how does the um, MacBook connect to this, right? So, the way that that works is this technology called Thunderbolt. And basically, you hook it up here to the enclosure. That's what the enclosure is for. It'll just hook up here. Okay. And I'll go through software and how to set it up through that way in another video if you guys liked this one. Hey guys, so if you like what you saw, just give me a like. Um, if you didn't like it, um, give me a thumbs down and let me know what you didn't like about it. Um, I'll be linking all of these parts and everything into the description below. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of this. This is my first video on YouTube and I greatly appreciate all the support and so thank you.